Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at Windows 8. This is the consumer preview, and I have it loaded in a virtual machine, as you can see here, and we'll go ahead and open it up. So let's go ahead and slide this up. So what we're going to do is grab the mouse and slide it up. Now, unfortunately, we can't just use a touchpad because I don't have a touch device to load this onto, but let's go ahead and slide this up. And as you can see, here's my Hotmail profile or my Windows Live profile. So let me go ahead and log into that. And once I log into that, it's much like the phone, Windows Phone 7. It looks just like it. It's got tiles and everything. And as you can see here, I can scroll with my mouse up and down, brings it left and right. And this is the main Windows start screen. This is no longer a desktop with a start button. We have a start screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we have a bunch of different things and you can grab a tile, click and hold, and I can move it around, let go, and it snaps back. I can do the same here. I can move everything around and it looks really nice. And here you can see there's some things going on in my photos. That's actually syncing from Facebook and my live ID. It's really pretty nice. It brings it all in here. Uh, down here you can see the weather. And if I click on this app, it opens up. It will open. It has a really nice look to it. Really simple. Uh, but you can see here's the weather. 42 degrees. There's the forecast. It's okay. Kind of crappy. Uh, and then here's thunderstorms hour by hour and I can go back. Here I can click back up here, which it's not letting me do. Now what you do to get back in Windows 8, if you have a mouse, I have to bring my mouse down here, bring it to a corner, you get the start button. Bring it to the upper corner and you get the current app that was running. We can go right back or We'll go to bring the Windows button up. It's kind of tricky on a virtual machine to do. Now we can go to the bottom right here. We can search or we can get what they call the charms bar uh, that brings it up to our side here. And we can go into settings and things like that. So I'm not going to go into every little detail, but I kind of wanted to show it off and, and show what you uh, see what you think about it uh, in the comments below, because some people really like this and some people really don't like it. It depends who you ask. Uh, some people really like it a lot. So here you can see. I've got some things. Every app is free. There's about 75 apps. I grabbed a few. So let's go to the marketplace and check out what they have in the store. It's much like Windows Phone 7 and it says it's not available right now. Let's try again. That's interesting. So we'll go back. I guess it's not available right now. Uh, let's go back. Eh, it won't let us. So we'll go back here. Now we can click start here or we can go over here slide up and click start. Either way we can get back. Now what you would do is you would drag your thumb out from the side. So you drag like this from the side and it would bring out the little charms bar and then you could click on or tap on on that. Uh, it brings it right into there. Now the Xbox, Xbox Companion is just like it is on the phone only easier to see. Uh, we have messaging. Messaging is, uh, I wrote a little bit of an article about it uh, a day or so ago and it shows uh, Facebook and things like that. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here's me connected to messaging and Facebook down here. Pretty nice and you can see it's connecting. I'm signed in app preview as you would expect but pretty nice. Let's go see up here what we've got. So right here we have what was currently running. If I drag down you can go right back to the weather. Things suspend on their own. They, they work uh, like you'd expect them to which is really nice. So let's go into Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is very similar to that on the phone. It saves what you've been to last. So let's go to Zolotech. And Zolotech is loading. You can see it's really nice, uh, works pretty well. And it's an HTML5 compliant browser. It's fully compliant with HTML5. So everyone's on the HTML5 bandwagon. It's really pretty nice uh, to have that. Now, one thing a lot of people ask is, you know, it looks like I can't do a whole lot. Well, you have the little desktop icon down here and it brings you to the desktop. It's not a full version of the desktop per se, but it is the desktop and you have a full file system. So if you need to use traditional apps, you can do that. Or uh, when you want to use or install something, you can do that or browse your files. But if you ever want to use the main system, you just go back. And this is how you do everything. So it updates on the fly. It logs into your ID. I can lock it and we're back. And it says I have 54 emails in Hotmail. It updates just like the phone. There's battery and 
I think that's monitor, which I have an external monitor plugged in, so maybe that's it. So we slide up. Okay, that's a little weird. Maybe that's something that uh, has to do with maybe the virtual machine. So I log back in, and this is my Windows Live ID that I'm logging in with. Uh, we can go to Maps, and App Preview, and go to Maps, here we go. Uh, let's, no, we'll block that for now. Seeing it asks, it's pretty nice. And we can do things like, uh, let's look for Microsoft. I don't know if it's Redmond, Washington. see what we find here so there we go there's Microsoft's location and that's all I tapped on the keyboard so you can see right here here's their locations they're shown across the top I can scroll pretty nice you can scroll up and down it goes side to side so overall it's basically what you would expect and if you right click you get some more options and here you can show traffic and map style so if we want a little more detail we want the aerial view there we go so it's really pretty nice. This thing works on just about any computer. It's, it will run on anything Windows 7 does. Uh, it's pretty nice. And Photos combines all of your photos. Uh, SkyDrive is built in, so you have all of that here. A few games, Cut the Rope, USA Today for uh, videos. Um, music is nice. Music reminds me a lot of the Zune uh, player that you see. And Zune player is one of my favorites because it's a monthly pass and I just like the way it looks. But here's music. I'm not going to play any music, but uh, you can see what it looks like. We can go back and forth, look at things. Uh, we can go to the marketplace, show more. We can search by genre, album, artist, just like you would in the Zune store. And you can see everything is what they call touch first. And touch first is really uh, meant for a touch interface. We can go right back again up here, drag down, and we can go right back to Internet Explorer. So that's the way, the, the way it handles multitasking. And uh, it's pretty nice, I think, overall. It does a pretty good job. It's really fast. Uh, and I've had no problem installing it. It installed on my machine in 10 minutes. 10 minutes flat. I have a pretty fast machine, but virtually I was using one core and one gig of RAM. So it was pretty fast overall. Uh, and uh, I can't really complain. So you can see here's a bunch of different things. Uh, here's my email. Overall, I really like this operating system. Now, some people will love it, some will hate it. Uh, but in my case, I think it does the job quite nicely. So, you know, if we wanted to go back, we can go back to start, and that's what we have overall. So there's a lot of different things you can play with, and then if, you want to, if you're used to searching for something with start, we can say Xbox. We can just start typing, and it shows a bunch of different things. We also have settings, and there's settings for Xbox. Let's go back home. And the one interesting thing I thought, uh, there's not a whole lot of options. There are some. So we can zoom out and see different things, move them around. It's overall really nice. Some people say it's too simple. How can I get any work done? But you have to think a little bit differently. This is their first or biggest innovation since Windows 95. It looks more simplified, but we really want computing to be simplified. And then if we need to get a lot of work done, we can bring things to Windows and things and go into the desktop and use a lot of Windows at once. And it handles multiple Windows at once. There's some really neat things that this operating system has thought out. And this isn't the final version. This is the consumer preview. So. Uh, it allows us to do what we need to there. Now we do have some settings, pretty simple right here. Uh, there are more PC settings we can go into, so we can personalize. We can do a lot of different things, and uh, there's a lot of really nice stuff, uh, really nice things in here that I find uh, is overall really great. I'd love to try it on a touch device, a tablet, which I may have to pick one up. Uh, and if I do, if any of you guys have any uh, suggestions as far as that goes, we'll go ahead and install. So that's installing Windows Update. You saw how fast that works. I'm back. I can do whatever I want and just keep going. So just as you would expect. So overall, really nice. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it is pretty simple, but again, I want to try it on a tablet, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say as far as a touch tablet that runs an Intel processor of some sort, or maybe AMD. I know there's a few of those out there. 
Uh, but overall, if you've played around with it, run it on your computer with touch. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. And then I'd love to hear what you have to say about whether you like the operating system or not. Will you move away from Windows because you don't like Windows 8? Will you move to a Mac? Will you move to Linux? Will you stay on XP? Will you stay on Windows 7? I'm really curious to see what you find acceptable or what you use it for. I just want to know your opinion on it overall. So please go ahead and place those in the comments below. Uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.